Alright, let's discuss about this question. This is a past year question for 2018. MF paper 1, I believe it's question 11, uh, part B. Right, because uh, in my YouTube channel, there's one student asked me about this question. So I decided to make a short video to explain uh, how to do this kind of questions. So you have an equation which is y equals to 3 over 2 sine 6 alpha and then it's going to tell you this is y axis and this is alpha and the question asks you to state the value of p and q basically you see the word state you know basically you can uh, straight away write the answer without need any working all right so let's begin with the amplitude first so if you're familiar with the amplitude you should know amplitude is a value here okay what the am amplitude do is it tell you uh, what is the frequencies of this graph here which is a 3 over 2 so this one is what we call amplitude so therefore if this answer is 5 then the length here will be 5 here so it's 3 over 2 so quite straightforward that you know the p is equal to 3 over 2 uh, not like very special okay so then we want to find a q okay so over here you kind of need to uh, remember so for sine and cos Okay, so this one we call it bx because the general equation for trigonometry function is y equals to a sine bx plus c. All right, a will be amplitude, bx is how you use it to find the uh, period. So in this case, it will be 6x, something like this. But they use alpha to represent the same meaning with x. So for sine and cos, the bx is always equal to 360 degree. All right, this is fixed already. Only for tangent, the bx is equal to 180. Okay, this is something uh, very important. You, As a student, I will recommend you to remember it because it's going to help you to solve the question like this. So right now, yeah, you can just change your x into the alpha. So you just do something like 6 alpha will equal to 360. Then alpha will equal to 660 divided by 6, which is 60 degree. So what's the meaning of alpha here? Alpha here is mean periods. Okay, the period at the same time is mean range f f uh, for one cycle. So what does it mean over here is, this is a one cycle, isn't it? So this one will be a range, will be 60 degree. Okay, range for one cycle. So you know Q basically is half of the cycle, isn't it? Half of the cycle, so Q is quite straightforward, is 60 divided by 2, which is 30 degree. Right, if you want to do in the radian, you can always do something like 6 alpha equals to 2 pi, then alpha will equals to uh, pi over 3. Then over here, the Q in radian mode will be pi over 6. Okay, this is in degree, in radian, I think either one will be good, unless the question do mention the one specific like degree or radian, or else you can use either one. Yeah, so... Yeah, I hope this short video can actually can help you to understand uh, the, some basic about trigonometry graph. Yeah, this kind of question consider very easy as long as you understand the concept. So I hope uh, this short video do help you. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye.